Dearest God, I wanted to start off this recording with a prayer. I just want to thank you, God, that despite the conditions of the lockdown, you have enabled these wonderful filmmakers, actors, actresses, costume designers, makeup people, all other people involved, even the fans and people who donated, that they've managed to continue making the series that glorifies your son. Now, of course, not everybody likes it, but this is a creative interpretation. Besides, at the end of the day, your son is perfect. And all we're doing is following your son. Help us to continue this example of Christ's love spreading throughout the world. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, Amen. Hello, everybody. Remember me? I'm that weird Scottish guy who reviewed season one of The Chosen and got a surprising amount of views. More views than the uh, popular YouTuber Durbania. I've, there's a bit of pressure there. <laughs> I mean, it, that, Durbania has more subscribers than me. I'm, I'm like a rookie compared to him. I mean, you didn't have to go to me, but thank you very much, Dallas Jenkins, for uh, showing my review on Facebook, <laughs> apparently. But now, season two is coming along. Not just any season two, oh no, season two of The Chosen. And it's not just premiering. It's premiering on the day our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ here rose from the dead. So, ladies and gentlemen and followers of Christ, get your theology and apologetic books out. It's time. Oh, it's time, all right. Let's just uh, organize a few things. I'm preparing something to share with the world. These things will make sense to some, but not to others. Hmm. Great set. Great acting, too. To start a revolution. Easter Sunday. Foreshadowing. Jesus knows it. And he doesn't yet. The epic series. Mary Magdalene knows it's an epic series. The global phenomenon. Mary knows it's, it's a global phenomenon. Maybe not the Pharisee, but these disciples do. Jesus walking with all these people of different cultures. Returns. Return of the king. His care is for women, for the vulnerable. For everyone. Blasphemy is not harmless. Well, the Pharisees were pretty upset. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta stir up the water. Mm-hmm. They're martyrs with a persecution complex. I wanna kill him. Funny how people will try to hurt the most peaceful man who ever lived. You want to be healed. Come with Jesus if you want to live. Jesus lived a perfect life. <laughs> helping others. None of us could live the perfect life. I have something that's open to all. But he people. did. Get up. Hey. And walk. <laughs> if he was supposed to be healed, God would have done it himself. That's an interesting point. <laughs> <laughs> the fame is spreading. <laughs> kind. You have certainly livened things up around here. Word travels fast. Experience the so incredible a... journey. Not the one with the dog and the cat life. and the other dog. The, the one about Jesus. Of the greatest the story ever told. Custody. Jesus of Nazareth. We finally meet. David, Goliath. Maybe there is hope for the little. What we're doing here will last for generations. I want my people to participate in the healing of the world. I do not feel very much worthy. Who's worthy of anything? You. The one comfort we have is to know that we're doing it together. If not now, when? I'm here to preach the good news of the kingdom of heaven. I make a way for people to access that kingdom. In this world, bones will still break. Hearts will still break. But in the end, yeah! the light will overcome darkness. Yes! The Chosen Season 2 for the 424 of Angel Studios, Dallas Jenkins. <laughs> trying to narrate. Season 1, or if you want to see Season 2, you gotta get the Chosen app. It's free, it's easy, it connects directly to your streaming device. You don't even need a subscription. Go check it out. Alright. I hope I can watch uh, season two, episode one for free. Whoa, my goodness, they're funding uh, season three now. I'm going to admit, I did do like several takes on that recording because 
order to get my reaction right, but then that wouldn't be too much of a genuine reaction. Again, I couldn't get the perfect reaction, just like I can't live the perfect life. But, again, he did. He did, that's the beauty of Jesus. So now, I want to take some time to talk to you all about it. Let's, let's go through the trailer and just break down what we just saw. Yeah, let's break it down, as other people would say. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the sound, mute the sound off. So, um, we've got these amazing set pieces and amazing landscapes. Um, we have these uh, people looking so slightly confused um, because the message of Jesus was quite revolutionary at the time. Completely confounded many people. Um, there is no one in history who's lived a better moral lifestyle than Jesus Christ. In fact, Jesus enhanced the moral lifestyle. Like, is Sermon on the Mount, which is said to be um, recorded during season two here. The Sermon on the Mount is where Jesus put up the standard for morality by saying, if you so much as hate somebody, then you've already committed murder. That, that's a new high standard. Or if you look at another person with lust, you've already committed adultery in your heart. That's a tough standard. None of us could ever live to that, but Jesus would come to die on the cross for us, and that's why we celebrate Easter. Praise be to God for that. What else? Um, we've got um, people of different cultures um, coming together, um, mainly centered around the Middle East, of course. Um, what else have we got here? We got ourselves this pool. Right. Okay. I'm no expert on on where they were filming, but that that is an amazing looking pool. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, um if they wanted this set to look any more amazing, they probably would have filmed at the archaeological site itself <laughs> um of um all these other places. Although um again, I'm not too much of an expert on this. Um there's got to be various people having different reactions be people with um who's going to be healed from the demons healed from leprosy paralysis jesus went to these poor people and helped them out um uh the humor's still there um like um it's not afraid to be somewhat humorous to, it makes the show a bit more uh, light-hearted it, it is quite risky uh, you know <laughs> humor but words are very powerful as you know so um I think, as far as I know, this this joke, this part here, made everyone have a quiet reaction. This Pharisee saying, "If God was here, He would have healed the man Himself." Jesus saying, "Hmm, interesting. You say that." <laughs> like, um, I, I think that joke works, if you ask me. Um, also, it's interesting to note that John the Baptist is uh, here, talking to Jesus. Um, uh, so wasn't. John the Baptist uh, held up in a cell for um, baptizing Jesus in the uh, River Jordan um, before Jesus went out into the desert to uh, be tempted by the devil and resist his temptations. Maybe they'll flash back to that, but um, basically it was after that time John the Baptist started criticizing um, Herod's king for like... Um, committing, like, uh, uh, sexual immorality, and then he got, uh, imprisoned because of that. So, um, questioning the continuity of how John the Baptist is able to meet up with Jesus here, like, maybe this is a flashback. Um, but the disciples are clearly there, but either way, it's good to see cousins embrace each other. But it's interesting that John the Baptist is filled with the, with the Holy Spirit. Um, he doubted uh, Jesus at one point. He was in his cell, and he was just thinking to himself, is this really the man? Is, is this the right man I was preaching about? And then he called to his friends, hey, uh, hey, friends, could you do me a favor? Could you go over to Jesus and just ask if he's the man that we've been waiting for or if we're waiting to someone else? Then Jesus, in response, uh, says, okay, look to my miracles. and Look to my signs. You'll know it's me. And John had that assurance before, unfortunately, John was uh, beheaded and, and 
uh, executed by the Roman soldiers. Yes, spoiler alert, John the Baptist dies here. I'm sorry, but that's just the brutal fact of reality. Um, Romans confronting Jesus. Um, season 2 is not going to depict Jesus' crucifixion yet. It's just uh, Roman officials just being Roman officials. Uh, you stick, stick your nose out of trouble and we'll, we'll keep us out of trouble, that sort of deal. Um, just Romans talk like that. <laughs> Big off, big off. Um, what else have we got? Um, in the end, light will win. That is the most inspiring thing. And that's what I love about this series at the end of the day. It's inspiring. And, um, oh, yes, there was um, another shot. Where was it? Um, uh, it was somewhere. Yeah, here, here. I I think this is the part where Jesus went to the temple for others to listen, where Jesus would take some time to shut up phone. <laughs> um, where Jesus would go into the temple to, um, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean that. <laughs> where Jesus would go into the temple and um, read from the scrolls where they had their holy scriptures from. And then Jesus would say, the scriptures have been fulfilled, which caused a bit of a ruckus among the uh, the temple. Like, fulfilled? What, what are you meaning? Um, um, I think they may or may not be taking a few hints from the Robert Powell version of uh, the um, gospel story. Um, the real gospel story. Um, Robert Powell who depicted Jesus in the mini-series called uh, Jesus of Nazareth. I highly recommend watching that series if you have the time. Because um, that's quite an epic series in itself. Um, I think they may have been, they may be taking a few hints from that with, with this scene. I don't know, I'm just getting a bit of deja vu. Um, but then again, I guess all the adaptations are taking hints from each other, right? <laughs> um, and this story has just been, it's, it's just a cult, it's a story that's, so ingrained in culture, in real history, in archaeology, that it's able to withstand the, t the test of time for over 2,000 years. Many people have tried to poke holes in it, but it still stands firm, and it's a, a message of, of hope and, and redemption. This is the, the sort of story where even people like Jordan Peterson can get behind it and come to grasp the the magnitude of what the story has to offer and i don't know about you guys but i'm looking forward to <laughs> watching this um this whole show um from easter onwards um maybe i'll do a uh, different um reactions slash review videos of individual episodes that will probably get more views <laughs> um but Either way, I'm looking forward to watching season two, and more importantly, I'd highly recommend all of you people to watch The Chosen. Um, there might be a few of you, even fellow Christians, who might say that this is being a bit wrong and contemporary, but just remember, this is just an adaptation of the real story at the end of the day, okay? If you don't like it, um... I'm not the boss of you, <laughs> but um, we don't often get shows like this, so please, if you can, support the Chosen Team.